Now, on another matter, it's been a year and a half since these Republican majorities took their seats in Congress and a Republican president was sworn in. In 2016, the American people made it clear that it was time to try something new. They were tired of, so -called, of the so-called recovery that focused overwhelmingly on big, wealthy metropolitan areas. They'd seen enough of tax hikes and top-down regulations that held their communities back. They turned to Republicans to deliver a pro-growth, pro-opportunity agenda. To create better conditions for working families, job creators, and entrepreneurs to rise together. 18 months later, the results could not be clearer. Today, more people say it's a good time to find a job than at almost any point since the turn of the millennium. U.S. manufacturers are more confident that, than ever about the future of their businesses. Here's a story from yesterday's Financial Times. U.S. retail sales rise for the fifth straight month in June. This is a good sign for Americans all across the board. It shows our economy is healthy. It shows that families feel they have enough breathing room to make purchases, which of course then benefits the companies and workers who produce what they're buying. And of course, it's especially good for the nearly 42 million Americans whose jobs are supported by the retail industry. According to industry data, as many as six in 10 Americans work in retail at some point in their career. So this continued prosperity is really significant. There's little question that tax reform is to thank for a significant portion of this progress. For one thing, our middle-class tax cuts are directly boosting families' discretionary income. As the Wall Street Journal reported this week, many households are experiencing less withholding from their paychecks thanks to tax overhaul. Analysts also point to the business side of tax reform, which is letting more U.S. employers expand and hire. That means more jobs for American workers, which means more income for American families, which means more money in the cash registers of American small businesses. And the virtuous cycle goes on. The American people and most fair observers are marveling at what our economy is delivering to workers and middle class families. But I'm starting to think our Democratic colleagues may have forgotten what a successful economic agenda looks like. Because even in the face of headline after headline and testimony after testimony from the families and job creators we represent, they try to brush off this impressive growth as nothing serious. And they advocate for repealing or undoing the Republican policies that are helped, helping to make it happen. Fortunately, Mr. President, Republicans know full well how to cut taxes, trim back regulations, and get Washington out of the American people's way. It's just what we've done. It's just what we'll continue to do.